Hello all. Today we are going to discuss the continuation of memories in system wide log. Today our topic is dynamic arrays. So a dynamic array. So a dynamic array is an unpacked array. We have discussed about unpacked arrays in our previous lectures. So a dynamic array is an unpacked array whose size of the array is specified during the runtime. Normally the size of the array is normal arrays. The size is the size of the array is specified at the compile time, but here the size of the array is declared at the runtime. So here the syntax of dynamic array is as follows: data type followed by array name followed by square brackets. So this is a syntax for dynamic array. The storage of dynamic array is not exist until it is created during the runtime. Normal arrays, the size of the storage for the arrays when they are declared in compile time. They are declared. The storage is allocated for the elements. The storage is allocated for the elements when the array is declared. This is for normal arrays. In case of dynamic arrays. The storage is not allocated. The storage for the dynamic array is not exist or allocated until it is created during the runtime. So the syntax for creating a dynamic array is: we can create the memory, or we can allocate the memory for that dynamic array by using the keyword new. So by using this keyword new, we can allocate the memory for the dynamic array. So the syntax for creating the dynamic array here we have some steps. For example, if we how to if we want to create two dynamic arrays say da1 and da2 okay so by using the keyword new we can allocate the number of elements we want to store in this dynamic array da1 in the runtime in the runtime so here in the new we have specified 10 so 10 memory allocate 10 memory locations will be allocated for this da1 10 memory locations will be allocated for this dynamic array da1 so here 10 indicates that array can be allocated with 10 elements if we want to increase the size of the array for suppose this da1 this is the source array and this is the destination array this is the source that is old array we want to increase the size of this array and this is the new array that is destination or new array so for suppose let's say this array is of size 20 that is it has 20 memory locations and 20 memory locations if we want to increase the size to 70 that is if we want 50 new locations 50 new locations then by this syntax da1 equal to new of 50 this new 50 indicates that 50 memory new locations will be created and the remaining 20 new locations will be retained they are not deleted this is the meaning of this in this method the first 20 elements of da1 are preserved and 50 new memory locations are allocated by using this method and coming to second method da1 equal to new of 50 for example this da1 has 20 memory locations for example if it has 20 memory locations and by using this da1 is equal to new of 50 then this 20 memory locations which are already there will be deleted and a new 50 memory locations will be created means if there are any elements in this 20 memory locations they are also get deleted and new 50 memory locations will be created here here the size of the dynamic array da1 is increased to 50 and new memory locations but previously existing 20 locations are deleted so by using this syntax existing memory locations are deleted and new memory locations are created and the elements which are present in existing memory locations are also get deleted but here in this case the existing elements are preserved 
and new memory locations are created add on next copying the elements from one array to other array for example if we want to copy the elements from da1 to da2 this is a syntax this is the source and this is destination if we want to copy from da2 to da1 then we should follow the syntax da2 e da1 equal to da2 then this will be the source and this will be destination here elements are copied from da1 to da2 and no new memory is created here here no extra memory is created just copying from da1 to da2 da2 is destination and da1 is source and copying of elements method 2 here in this method da2 is a destination and da1 is a source da1 is the source but here we are using new of new keyword by using this new keyword and we are specifying that we should have 50 memory locations so in da2 there will be extra 50 memory locations created and also the da1 elements are copied to da2 here the elements are copied from da1 to da2 and also 50 new locations are created in da2 these are the two methods for copying one elements from one array to other thank you